Shalom Chavrim. We are here at the Holocaust Memorial Museum in Israel, in Jerusalem. And as you come in the gate here, Ezekiel 37, verse 14, is actually written above the gate, where it speaks about that God would put breath in them and they would live again. And He would plant them in their own land. It is an interesting scripture indeed. In fact, one that is probably a controversial verse from the Christian text that I really believe applies to the children of Israel is written in the book called Revelation, and it's the fifth seal. I want to share that with you, and we will try to show you what we can here from the Holocaust Memorial, although it will be limited because they don't allow filming inside the exhibits here. We'll try to share with you some of the footage around the site here so you can get a feel for what it's like. In Revelation, uh, the fifth seal, and, and uh, I'm not sure exactly what chapter that's in in the book there, but it says here, And when he had opened the fifth seal, I saw under the altar the souls of them that were slain for the word of God and for the testimony which they held. It's interesting, the testimony they held. And they cried with a loud voice, saying, How long, O Lord, holy and true, dost thou not judge and avenge our blood on them that dwell on the earth? And white robes were given unto every one of them. And it was said unto them that they should rest yet for a little season until their fellow servants also, their brethren, that should be killed as they were, should be fulfilled. There's no way that this could apply to the Christian people. And the reason being is because clearly when John wrote Revelation, this was after Yeshua had come on the earth. And in his ministry, he taught just the opposite as far as vengeance. He said, if he smites you on the cheek, turn to him also the other cheek. If he compels you to go a mile, go with him twain. And he says, revile not. We saw that in his own life. He did not fight back at all. David expressed that when David went up on the Mount of Olives and looked over Jerusalem and wept. And when uh, Shimei, one of the sons of Saul, was cursing him, spit upon him even, he said, let him alone. God told him to do that. Stephen was the first martyr amongst the Christian people or the followers of Yeshua. And even he said when he was being stoned to death, Father, forgive him. That's the nature of those followers of Yeshua. But with Jews... We still have that vengeance nature and cry out, How long, O God, until you avenge our blood? And white robes were given to every one of them because the testimony they held, that testimony, is that they believe in the God of Israel. They did their best to keep Torah. And God remembered that because He knew that He had blinded their eyes to who Yeshua was, that the world could be saved that more than just the Jewish people would come in, that Abraham, as a father of nations, many nations, that that prophecy would be fulfilled. Baruch Hashem, I'm Stephen Binun from Israel. Min Yisrael in Jerusalem at the Holocaust Memorial.